What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Center for Stingray Biology. My name is Kevin Way. I am the owner here and these are my stingrays. Okay. In today's episode, it's not a very exciting episode, I'll be the first to admit, but it is an important episode. We're going to talk about some tank maintenance stuff. There has been something going on here at the facility for the last couple of days, some odd behavior with the fish. I've noticed that the fish haven't been finishing their food like how they used to. You know, my tank maintenance schedules has always been the same. Nothing has changed, right? My water change schedules, the amount of water change, the filter cleanings, everything has been the same. So I'm trying to figure out what could be the cause of this, okay? I think I know. What it is here is at the center, when we do our water changes, okay, we have water running in right there. Okay, you see that spout with the water coming in? That is fresh water coming in. Um, typically, uh, we call that a drip system. Well, we can't just run straight tap water because as we all know, our tap water contains either chlorine or chloramines, okay? And lucky for me, it contains chlorine, all right? Which is much easier to remove. And the way I remove it is through a carbon filter, okay? This is a um, fiberglass tank that's filled with carbon inside and the incoming water, which are these two copper lines right here, they run in through and go in and out of this carbon filter and back around into the system and feeds in there. All right. I know that carbon doesn't last forever, right? We all know that. And there, I have a, main, a, set, main, a set maintenance schedule for replacing the carbon. Now this carbon was replaced not too long ago, okay? But there is something else that needs to be done besides replacing carbon. And I think some of you might know and some of you may not know. Uh, probably most homeowners will know that the carbon also needs to be backwashed. We're gonna work on this unit here today because I noticed that the water coming out of this unit um, and that unit feeds this reserve tank and it feeds a lot of my, my uh, other systems on the other side. So this canister probably runs, I mean this carbon filter probably runs a lot more water through it than that one, all right? Because that one is just strictly for this system here. Let me explain to you uh, what happens. Uh, carbon has a very fine pore structure from uh, within. And it's within there that, I don't know the chemistry behind it, but it absorbs the chlorine. Okay, but what happens is, if there's fine particles of dirt coming into your water as well, and it clogs those fine pores, then it blocks the rest of the internal structure from being able to absorb chlorine, okay? And so routine back flushing of this carbon will help to open up those, uh, to, to flush out all that particle and debris that's clogging the carbon so now the carbon can do its job, okay? So I think um, a lot of people at home who have whole house carbon filters or resin uh, water softeners, they might uh, run through carbon as well. And they have these automatic, like these big valves that sit on top and it automatically uh, backwashes it every night. I don't do that. Um, like you guys know, I'm, I have OCD. I don't trust mechanical things and timers and stuff like that because in the past I've had some issues before where those things fail. It was a disaster. I mean, I lost like whole systems of fish. The last thing I need is that black backwash system. It turns on and water's flushing the wrong way into my system and running non-stop at full blast while I'm at home in bed and I come in in the morning and everything's dead. So that, that's mainly the reason, the main reason why I don't trust stuff um, automatically. So what I do is um, I will every few months backwash it, okay? And uh, that's what we're gonna do today. So let's get to it. Let's. Uh, I'm. Let me. I'm gonna remove all that stuff from over there. Rewire the hoses so that I can back flush it, and let's find out how dirty it really is in there. All right. All right, guys. So first, I gotta move this fridge out of the way so I can get access to the carbon filter in there. Ah, I 
this thing is really heavy right now because it's loaded up with shrimp from the other day. Remember that shipment I showed you that came in? So right now this thing is weighing a few hundred pounds. Oh my God. All right, so we got this out of the way, we close it so we don't lose too much cold air. And then you guys can come on in and see what we got going back here. All right, so I have this floor drain here, and this is where we're gonna flush the water out. And I've shut off the water already here, and now it's just about disconnecting these hoses. And just switching them around so that the flow, the water flow will be opposite, and that will be backwashing, all right? So it's gonna get a little wet in here, and all the excess water will go down that drain. That's the water supply. Thread that back on. Okay, this one I don't need. I had an extra line, where's the extra line? So this line is going to go on the other side and I'm going to just flush it right down that drain. Hey. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, my face. Sorry about that. Because I have to make the pressure strong so that it flushes the carbon. It doesn't look very dirty, but the water is going so fast, there's probably a lot of fine particles that is, uh, being flushed out right now. Let me shut it off for a second. Make sure. Okay, yeah, I got it right. So, hey, go show them, right? See, the water's coming out dirty now. You see that water is dirty now. At the first flush, it wasn't dirty, but now you see it's like brownish. Okay, now I'm gonna shut off the water again. Let me do this again. Look, look, more dirt is coming. Oh my goodness. Ready, here we go. Look, look at that. So you see, my suspicions was correct. There is a lot of dirt that has been trapped inside this filter. So I'm just gonna keep back flushing this. Okay. Always a little bit pissed because the water pressure is coming out so strong. And then when it hits, and so that when it hits the bottom, the water kind of splashing up. But I'm actually surprised. It is pretty, pretty dirty. So this would explain, um, well, at least for me in my eyes, it would explain why after a water change, the fish are behaving odd. Usually you would think that after a water change, um, the fish will be like feeling really good and much happier and more active. But um, I have found lately, the past couple of days, after I do the water changes, they're breathing very heavily and then they don't want to eat, okay? So that led me to believe that the problem was here in the water change. Um, well, not in the water change, it's, how can I explain it? Like I said, in, in my water source, not the water change. The water change is supposed to make them feel better, but there was something wrong with my water source, and it was the filter. So after I flush this out, and I start to do my water changes over the next couple of days, I should see an improvement in their behavior, and they all should be back to normal. So for you guys at home, I know, um, you may not have such a big system like this, but some of you who do have a like larger fish tank, monster tanks at home, might want to consider running carbon filters like this to do your water changes. This is one thing that you need to keep in mind. Um, most carbon manufacturers or, or, or water purifying companies will tell you how many gallons uh, of water can run through a carbon, and, and it's a very high number, right? But, but what happens is they don't tell you that the, the carbon will get clogged up like that. And, and I guess in most times, some might sell you that backwashing unit that I told you about, and that would probably help, but who knows how well that unit works. Right now, 
you know, I'm doing this visually with my eyes. We saw all the dirt come out. Hey, all right, now take a look now. So while we were talking, the water has become a lot more clean. We don't have that brown, dirty water coming out anymore. Right? So I would say mission is accomplished. And um, this is something, again, I do routinely every few months. And uh, I was probably running a lot more water than normally over the last couple of months, which is why it clogged a little bit sooner than, than I expected, all right? So thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you learned something here today. Uh, like I said, I know it's not a very exciting episode, but I do feel that it was valuable and important information for all you fish keepers out there, all right? So please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you like these type of videos, please let me know in the comments below and then I will try to make an effort to um, show more of this type of stuff, all right? So thank you guys, and stay safe.